All right, so today's lesson is going to be about cleanup. Um, this is a stage after you've done your animation and hopefully you've gotten your in-betweens and all your breakdowns and your keyframes in. So the tools I'll be using are a line tool and a contour tool. I'll also be using uh, the brush tool just to um, get the lines that the the line and contour tools can't seem to create very well, or they are snapping too much to each other, um, the lines, I mean. So I'm already in the process of doing uh, a cleanup on this one cell. So uh, at first, I just wanted to talk to you real quick about um, cleanup. There's not really much to know. Cleanup is basically just getting a nice clean line and a consistent line throughout all the cells. So you're choosing um, your best line between each cell and you're matching those lines. So you're matching the thickness, you're matching uh, the texture if you have a textured brush or pencil, and that's uh, what you're trying to use for your final animation. Um, I'm just using a straight, hard black line um, on my animation which I usually do when I'm doing my own productions. So as you can see, I'm using the brush tool. And prior to that, I was using the line tool and, I, and the contour tool to bend the line. If we are doing uh, this in Japan, we would be using Stylus Pro which is a, a Celsius program that uh, it's part of the Redis package. So it would be Stylus or Stylus HD that we would be using. But since uh, Toon Boom is, is uh, getting more and more into the anime field and, and companies are using it, I'm using Toon Boom Harmony 11. So when you're doing cleanup, you want to, of course, create a, another layer so your final lines are, you know, clean and you don't have to do any erasing. Much like if you were doing paper animation, you would use a fresh piece of paper on top of the other, uh, on top of the original drawing, and you would be using a light box to trace over that drawing in a nice clean pencil line. And then from there, you would scan it into a computer and you would vectorize it. So here I'm just looking at the two cells that I've done thus far and seeing if the lines uh, shift too much, which is something I don't want to happen. So off screen uh, soon I'll be going off screen and I will be turning off my under original drawing pencil layer so as you can see I'm just checking the animation and I didn't have any uh, any in-betweens on this um, this is one part uh, testing and one part just for uh, the educational use of this class. So I'm just filling in the contour of the rest of the hair that goes behind the character. So as you can see in between these two frames, the symbol on her on her chest it changes size. But right now I'm not too concerned with that. I'm just uh looking to see that the animation is working. And the collar on her sweatshirt is also uh changing shape, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. Since I'll be going in and doing a bunch of in-betweens, I uh, will Go and make that work. So 
So off screen, um, probably just uh, shifting around some drawings. So that was my onion skin that I turned on. And this is the playback with those, uh, just a couple of cleanup drawings that I did. So off screen, I'm possibly moving the old uh, pencil drawings off into a, a uh, invisible, an un invisible, I'm sorry, um, a layer that I could turn off so it won't be visible. So I can see how this all looks with, uh, with the rest of the animation. So just bear with me as I'm changing uh, different layers and turning them on and off. I had two layers for this uh, character. I had an arm layer and I had the body layer. So I'm just checking right now, just I'm trying to find a, what layer I'm missing and what I'm missing was a, there's an arm layer that I had. So I just went and turned that off. So when I play it back, you can see those couple of clean frames. So right now I'm just trying to think of like, what's the next frame I'm going to be cleaning up. Sometimes I go in order, but it's good to go in order. So your lines aren't jumping around too much and then you have to go back and figure out what lines should be there and what lines should be replaced. So as you can see, I'm using the line and the contour tool. So I'll create a line and then I'll contour it. Meaning I'll use the tool to bend a line and to create an arc. So usually I would use um, a Wiimote with a, with a Bluetooth software that's connected to uh, the Bluetooth on my computer and through an application on my Mac, I can control what buttons does what shortcuts in Harmony. So here, uh, since I'm going kind of slow, I'm just using the contour and line tool respectively. So I have to constantly click on each one. I should have learned the shortcut keys, but I want you to show, I want you to see um, what tool I'm using at what point in time. So it gets repetitive and that's just the nature of the art. This is some lines that uh, they keep snapping together and it's because I have a snap to, to line or snap to contour or something like that um, on in my tool setting with uh, the line tool. So when I kept happening, I just, I went and just used my paintbrush and just did it by hand. And I try to keep my hand uh, as stiff and as, uh, as smooth as possible, even though I'm using a Cintiq and sometimes the surfaces of the screens can be a little slippery. So you get a little wobble in your lines. There's tools to fix that. Um, there's a smoothing tool in Harmony, but I haven't used it yet. I haven't found the need to, but I'm sure there's a point in time when I'm going to have to. So 
So this is basically what you do when you're cleaning up. You're creating a smooth line and you're either using a contour tool or you're using a, a pen tool, like a brush. And then you go in and you smooth out the line if it's a little uh, wiggly or jaggedy. But this is the same method that you would use if you're using flash or if you're using uh, Redis Studios, um, Redis Stylus Pro or Redis Stylus, or if you're using TV Paint, it would be the same process. In Japan, uh, like I keep reinstating that they use Redis um, made by Celsius. Um, you can find that at website, things like celsius.jp. Uh, there's an English section, which I'm not too sure if they update very often, if at all, these days. But you could find uh, Redis um, on the market, but it's it's so much money and it's so like outdated, regardless how much uh, updates they've done. And Toon Boom recently has just, uh, they've been in Japan and they've been having a bunch of conferences and going to a bunch of industry conventions and showing off the new Harmony and their Storyboard Pro software. And there's lots of companies that they've been also meeting with, uh, according to the Facebook, and they have a bunch of new companies on board with using their products for their productions. So anime will be heading over more and more into the Toon Boom software um, production. There's already a few uh, shows. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but uh, Toon Boom posts often about the the companies that are using their software and their website. So you, if you're interested, you could look into that. See, so right there, um, my line tool keeps snapping and I don't want to snap to that a specific line. So I'm possibly just gonna go in and use my brush tool. This is a pre-recorded video. So I had a delay earlier with um, my audio. I can't get my wireless to work. So I'm recording this right through a, a standard microphone. So there's really not much when you're doing cleanup. I mean, there's, there's times that you, uh, you have to definitely know animation when you're doing cleanup, you have to, uh, you have to make sure you pick the right lines. Um, for instance, if you look at the picture that's on the screen right now, the top of her bang on our right, there was um, too much of a curve in it. And uh, the character, her bangs wouldn't curve that way if she was um, in this three fourth angle. So I just made uh, an artistic decision not to do that whole curve and to straighten it out a little bit more and curve it more towards the top, um, less than the, the line art. But that's the type of stuff you need to choose and you need to understand um, when you're doing cleanup. Uh, you have to know animation. You can't just trace over lines and try to match lines. You have to understand what lines should be there, what lines shouldn't. Uh, if you also look on... Uh, the flares on her, on her hair on the right, um, on the pencil drawing, I had four, but on this cleanup, I'm only using three of them. So a little spiky parts of the hair, which I call flares. I only used three, even though that in the previous drawing, there was four. But as the head turns, the hair changes.
So I'm trying to figure out like how far out should her bang go. And I also notice that there's a line that goes right in front of her ear. So I'll just add that into the frames that I already created. And sometimes when you're doing cleanup, you have to go back and change your frames or you have to just start from the beginning if you uh, if you choose decisions or do things like that. Sometimes it requires that you need to go back and start all over again. It's just, it's just uh, the way of the beast. It's like, that's just what you need to do. So I can't say I'm the best cleanup artist, but I get the job done. When you're doing animation uh, cleanup in something, let's say like Flash, you sometimes want to overshoot the lines, meaning you want the two lines to um, to cross over each other, but you also want to extend the lines outwards past the original uh, line. So let's say instead of uh, you instead of like you're doing the letter Y, you would make an X or like the majority of like the X. So the part that crosses over to make the the Y shape on the on the top you would shoot over the line. So you're crossing over it and then you're going back and deleting the extra part. So you can make a Y out of that X, if that makes any sense. But when you're doing uh, stuff in like Toon Boom, in Harmony or Studio or Animate, you really don't need to do that. You can if you want to. But for me, I kind of don't want to do uh, more work than I need to. But sometimes it's you have to make sure that the lines are connecting or else you have to go back and you have to use a close gap tool to close any gaps that might be open, which Toon Boom also has. And Toon Boom, uh, with the paint bucket, you can also have a, a closed gap um, selection. You could... Uh, have uh, close big gaps or small gaps or medium gaps. I'm not too sure if you could uh, you could specify what um, how many pixels to close, but one of those three selections should work for you. And if not, you just go over and you use a close gap, a close gap tool, and that'll work. So right now I'm using the paint bucket, I'm sorry, a paintbrush to just um, do lines on her sweatshirt that I can't seem to get right when I'm using the line tool and the contour tool together. And I'm just trying to keep uh, my wrist as stiff as I can and I'm trying to draw by moving my elbow instead of my wrist. So. I'm not putting too much strain on my wrist. And I'm just making another artistic dis like uh, decision right there by putting a little bulge in her sweatshirt because her body is twisting. So hopefully you can see it. Um, 
the line tool is trying to snap to a specific spot that I don't want it to. So I'm just going to go in there and use my brush tool. So for a skirt, I'm just making everything flat right now. And you can see the tool is trying to snap to some place I don't want it to. But that's just because I have, uh, I have it set to snapping. So right now I'm just using a contour tool to curve out some lines. So I have uh, flat lines and I have um, contour uh, shapes within that skirt. And for her legs, I'm just going to use the brush tool. And for her fingers, I'm also making a, I should be making another artistic, um, another artistic call and giving more shape to the fingers, even though it's not drawn in the in the pencil sketch and now I'm just gonna I should uh, just check the animation again Off screen, I'm uh, using my timeline to shift around some some images so I can have a clean the clean uh, drawing. I'm just checking to see if uh, if my volume changes the way I want it to. Because now she's bending towards the camera, which changes her shape a little bit. So I'm still just making uh, my choices of how I want this to look. Keep flipping back and forth between the two, or actually it's four different cells that I just cleaned up. And I noticed that her, her hip is a little too big on some of the, some of the cleanups. So I'm just redrawing them and making them match. So I would later on go back and put in some in-betweens, maybe some more breakdowns. I just, uh, I'm not that great of a in-betweener, even though it's it's an entry-level job. Um, to say I'm not that great, it's just uh, 
I was kind of pressed for time when I was doing this. So I just wanted to show you guys some cleanup. So now, now just to play back with those, those few cleaned up drawings. And I just turned on the camera mask so you can see it better. And now I'm just gonna zoom in. And I noticed that the character is off model. So I have to change the bangs and I have to bring them down a little further. So I'm just gonna use my contour tool and just click on it and drag. So all the hair was pretty much uh, too short, basically. So I'm just grabbing the ends and just dragging it. So the contour tool is pretty cool. You can reposition lines like you could in any vector drawing. I'm just trying to find a, I'm looking for something. I can't really remember what I was looking for when I was doing this. So just uh, bear with me if you can. Okay, so I'm checking the ear to see, uh, to see if they match or not. I know in one cell, that cell. Her face is kind of sharp. And I'm just repositioning the eyebrow and making it a little smaller. So I think right now I'm looking to see if uh, if the lines of her eyes, do they go over her hair, over her bangs, or are they hidden underneath? So... I'm just using the erasure tool and I'm putting her eyes and her eyebrows and her eyelashes underneath the hair to see how that looks. I could have just used a contour tool and just select those lines and deleted them, but I'd just rather have used the, the eraser on my stylus, well, on my Wacom Cintiq pen which I guess is called a stylus. So I'm checking right now to see which one I like better. And if I remember the original model sheet, um, the lines are showing through, so you can see her eyes and her eyebrows on top of her hair, even though it's painted over.
painted over, but the, the outline is still there, as you see in, in a numerous amounts of animation. So you're basically going to be flipping back and forth a bunch between all your cells, much like when you're doing any other animation. You want to make sure your lines are consistent and they seem like they can fall into the you know the correct places. Depends on your style or what look you're going for. You don't need to always be a hundred percent, which I don't think any animation is a hundred percent because that's like rotoscoping and. Even though rotoscoping is a type of animation, I personally don't really like it that much. Even though I I have to have done it a bunch of times. So now I'll just play it back. Now sometimes it's easy to spot, you know, it's easy to spot things that are wrong. And I'm sure there's lots going on that's wrong, but I just wanna, you know, do it as best as I can.